then we love God whom we don't see. St. John says, how can you say that you love God whom you don't see if you do not love your neighbor whom you see? Mother Teresa was born in Skopje, Macedonia, on August 26, 1910. Her family was of Albanian descent. At the age of 12, she felt strongly the call of God. She knew she had to be a missionary to spread the love of Christ. At the age of 18 she left her parental home in Skopje and joined the Sisters of Loreto, an Irish community of nuns with missions in India. After a few months training in Dublin she was sent to India, where on May 24, 1931, she took her initial vows as a nun. From 1931 to 1948 Mother Teresa taught at St. Mary's High School in Calcutta. Teresa took her solemn vows on 14 May 1937 while she was a teacher at the Loreto Convent School, taking the style of the mother as part of Loreto custom. The suffering and poverty she glimpsed outside the convent walls made such a deep impression on her that in 1948 she received permission from her superiors to leave the convent school and devote herself to working among the poorest of the poor in the slums of Calcutta. Although she had no funds, she depended on divine providence, and started an open-air school for slum children. Soon she was joined by voluntary helpers, and financial support was also forthcoming. On October 7, 1950, Mother Teresa received permission from the Holy See to start her own order, the Missionaries of Charity whose primary task was to love and care for those persons nobody was prepared to look after. In 1965 the society became an international religious family by a decree of Pope Paul VI. In 1952, Mother Teresa opened her first hospice with help from Calcutta officials. She converted an abandoned Hindu temple into the Kalagat home for the dying, free for the poor, and renamed it Kalagat, the home of the pure heart, Nirmal Rade. Those brought to the home received medical attention and the opportunity to die with dignity in accordance with their faith. Muslims were read the Quran, Hindus received water from the Ganga, and Catholics received extreme unction. A beautiful death, Mother Teresa said, is for people who lived like animals to die like angels, loved and wanted. Mother Teresa's work has been recognized and acclaimed throughout the world and she has received a number of awards and distinctions, including the Nobel Peace Prize 1979, the Bharat Ratnat 1980, the Pope John XXIII Peace Prize 1971, and the Nehru Prize for her promotion of international peace and understanding 1972. She also received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, 1985, and the Templeton and Magsaysay Awards. She was canonized on 4 September 2016.